Hi, this is John with the Hovercam, and today I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on how to create a new quiz inside of Hovercam Grade Central. Uh, now, you have to first have your classes and rosters filled out and ready to go, but once you have that all set, you can go and click on New Quiz, which is to the upper right from the guide screen, and in here you'll see all the fields you'll need to create a new quiz. Uh, the quiz ID is a four-digit number that you'll use to identify this quiz. Quiz title is, is just for identification purposes so that you'll know what this quiz is about. Uh, the teacher ID and teacher name fill out automatically from your registration information. Uh, you can put in a note optionally if you uh, feel that you need some kind of reminder for what this quiz is or, or some important note that you need to uh, reference later on. In the middle of the screen you'll see several different answer sheets. So there's 30, 70, uh, so on. They, they go up from there all the way up to 150 questions. I'm going to choose 30 questions just to save on paper. So when I print this out, it's actually going to print three 30-question quizzes on that same sheet, and then I can cut them from there. Uh, off to the right, I can change the percentage uh, uh, um, cutoff points for the quiz. So, for example, at 97%, it's an A plus by default but I could make that, let's say, 95% if I wanted to. I'll probably just keep it at 97. Seems like a good number. And below that is the number of questions. So make sure you select a number of questions that uh, make sense for the quiz size you have. So I have 30 questions on this answer sheet. So I'm going to make this a, let's make it a, just a 10 question quiz, nice and short. Uh, and the default score I have set to two. So 2 times 10, full score is 20, right? Below this, you can see how I'm going to fill out my answer key. So it's asking, what is question 1? And I can select uh, a letter from A, B, C, or D. So let's say question 1 will be B. And it's worth that default amount of 2. And I can select a state or common core standard from the, the state and common core standard uh, selector. So if I click on that little uh, select standard uh, box there, it will open up this dialog box that allows me to find state or common core standards. So I'm in California, so I'm going to go ahead and find California on this drop down. And let's say, I think I said I was doing English, and how about grade four? And I'm just going to load all of them just so I have a selection. And you can see here, we've tried to fill out all of these so that this should be populated for every state. And I'm just going to select one, and that'll fill in automatically right there under standard. And then I would do the same down the line. Select another standard. Of course, I'm just doing this as a demonstration, but ideally you know actually what standards you're going to be using. Now I could change the value of something. So maybe question six is a really hard one. So I'm going to make that worth uh, four points. That one's worth more. But then I would just go down the line and fill it all out. And there I have my answer key. Now, a different thing I could have done was over to the right here, you'll see Scan Correct Answer Sheet. And what I do there is I, I select that, and if I have a hover cam hooked up, it'll find the hover cam, and I have an answer sheet that I already filled out, so I could just scan this answer sheet by clicking on the little check mark beneath it. And that then becomes my answer key. So it's taking the bubbles that I filled out on that particular answer sheet and using that as my answer key. Now that answer key had, let's see, 110 questions on it. Let me just bring it up again just to show you. And it only picked the first 10 answers. So just pick these first 10 answers up here to fill in as my answer key. So that's always an option. You could fill out a test whatever way you want to and then just use that one filled out answer key as your answer key that you automatically put into Hovercam Grade Central. Now once I have this all filled out, oh I'm sorry I'm skipping one thing. Question Sheets is uh, right next to Scan Answer Sheet and what that allows you to do is upload uh, or scan I should say an answer sheet. So I don't have an answer sheet here, but I could have all, I, all the question sheet, excuse me. But I've had the questions listed here. I could scan that, and then that also becomes associated to this particular quiz. So I could have the questions and the answers together. Now below, I could go ahead and grade this now, but let's go and look at these buttons off to the right. 
Export allows me to export this particular quiz as an HCE file. And that's kind of a, a file that we use inside of Grade Central. Now what that means is I can share this quiz and another person could import an HC, HCE file. So in other words, I could share my quizzes with other teachers at my school or other uh, educators uh, at other grade levels uh, for next year or whatever it might be. <clears throat> Once I'm ready, I would save this and then I would preview and print it. I'm going to just show you preview and print. So this comes up as a PDF file. And you can see it's got my 30 questions in there. So I would just print out the answer sheet, uh, cut them because this is one's a 30 uh, question sheet, and then give it out to my students. If I make a mistake, I can always delete it. But that's really how you would create a quiz in Grade Central. It's pretty easy, but a lot of people don't know that there's this much detail to it. So go ahead and uh, give it a shot. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at the hovercam.com. Or you can uh, also open a support ticket.